Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know what? The Golden State Warriors right now are a bubble, right? They just had a game of the year candidate, game on the road against Oklahoma City. Now understand, if you believe the Warriors are as good as the absurd lines being offered by casinos, right? The Warriors should handle teams like the Oklahoma City Thunder, right? You would expect that you're betting on the 72-win Bulls, that you're betting on Bird, McHale, and Parrish. Instead, the Golden State Warriors, who statistically don't have the defense of the San Antonio Spurs. Let me repeat that. They don't have the defense of the San Antonio Spurs. Since Cowie Leonard has come back, I want people to look at the Spur defense. Right? Well, just understand that the Golden State Warriors struggled. They needed really last-minute heroics to tie the game, to then get that game into overtime. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. Golden State should be the favorite to win it all. But this is all about pricing and hedging and opportunities. Right? As I've been saying here online for a while now, the value in the West lies with the San Antonio Spurs. Right? Make no mistake. The Warriors are a juggernaut. But they have problems. Look at the lack of cover since the All-Star break. They haven't covered that often, folks. I believe they've covered something like one game, right? Look at the scoring. Steph Curry had to hit double-digit threes. Double-digit threes for the Golden State Warriors to beat OKC in overtime. Think about it. Let's talk about the East. Best team in the East, Cleveland Cavaliers. In my opinion, Cleveland can't win the NBA title. What I want people to do is look at LeBron's three-point shooting. Can we agree that in the playoffs, LeBron's probably going to be the person on the Cavaliers who has the ball most of the time? Folks, they'll be able to watch LeBron shoot the ball from three. I don't know if it's old age or what, but his three-point shot has been hurting. Don't believe me. Research the numbers yourself. So, you really have to ask yourself, if LeBron James can't stretch the floor, if offensively folks could just stand around and look at LeBron James from the outside, how can a team that expects meaningful minutes from, let's say, Kevin Love, who last year was off the court during crunch time in numerous games, right? Look that up, right? How could a team with Tyron Lue, a young guy with his first coaching gig, right? In a league where he's liable to be going up against Kerr, right? Coach of the year uh, last year, or Greg Popovich, Right? You tell me how Tyron Lu is going to be able to survive. Are you comfortable with the Cavaliers knowing that without LeBron they got crushed by the Washington Wizards? So, in my opinion, and I know the Cavs have the fast track to the um, Eastern Conference Finals. Okay, fair enough. But in my opinion, really the only two teams to bet on are the Warriors and the Spurs. And quite frankly, right now, because of the way the odds are, and the odds might even get more unbalanced because the Warriors play most of their remaining games at home, right? Just understand that the Spurs are the better betting value right now than the Warriors. You could always hedge the play later on. You're getting better than 3-1 to one odds on the Spurs to win it all at this point. So you could take the Spurs and then hedge the play when they face the Warriors. 
why would you take the Warriors at these prices? Right? Also, aren't you a little concerned with the bad story on Cleveland? Right? Um, Kyrie Irving, according to reports, depending on who you believe, may or may not have asked out. Right? Um, Kevin Love defensively. Is he suddenly going to be a big-time shot blocker, and is his defense really going to turn up a notch? How comfortable are you with relying on J.R. Smith to support the bet you have on the Cleveland Cavaliers? Right? Don't you think Joe Johnson knows something? Cleveland won it, Joe Johnson. LeBron, who in terms of interpersonal skills and conjuring up loyalty is not close to Michael Jordan, right? Um, just isn't, right? LeBron actually issued public statements saying, hey, yeah, we'd love to have Joe Johnson and stuff like that. Guess what? Joe chose Miami, right? Joe, who's a vet who doesn't have a lot of time left, decided he didn't want to deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers, if you're a gambler, is that reassuring to you? Don't you think that if Joe Johnson had a team that wanted him that he thought was a near certainty to win an NBA title, don't you think Joe Johnson would go there just like LaMarcus Allridge and David West went to San Antonio? Right? I'm hearing Andre Miller's going to San Antonio. Right? What do these vets know that we don't? Maybe they know something. Anyway, let's just say the East, I just don't see it this year. The West, they're really only two teams. No, I'm sorry. I disagree with Charles Barkley. I don't believe in the Clippers. Right? I'll give the Clippers credit on doing better without Blake than with Blake. Right? If I'm the front office, I have to wonder why I'm paying Blake big money. Right? But I don't believe in the Clippers. And no, 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 I don't believe in Oklahoma City. Right? With all due respect to Charles Barkley, I'm sorry. I'm looking a little bit above that level of play. I'm looking at the Warriors, the defending champs, and I'm looking at the San Antonio Spurs and no one else. That's how I see it on a Futures as of March the 1st, 2016. I'll update these NBA rants depending on the information that comes out. I'll tell you this. I'm in Northern California. I was in a bar watching that OKC Warrior game with a bunch of friends. And when Steph Curry went down, when I believe it was Russell Westbrook stepped on his ankle, you would have thought someone died, right? Warrior fans understood that that team's fortunes rely on Steph Curry and that Curry has an injury history, right? Google Steph Curry's ankle here online. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let's all try to beat the casino. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.